And hello folks, it's your old pal Uncle Al, still here, still kind of boring. Remember I told you a couple of summers ago, nobody ever watches my video. 2022 worldwide stockpiling. Have you seen what Hungary is doing? 2022 in the stores, people are in panic buying. 2022 hyperinflation. And it's only Monday, folks. We're going to have a rough summer. And people still didn't get it. All right? If you want to be smart and save your country, abolish the ATF. Enough with Captain Crazy's secret police, the ATF. Time to abolish it. It's a tax generating revenue system full of illegal agents that's supposed to be in other departments, not the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. They have no longer a purpose. Defund it. Disperse the agents to other agencies. Save money. Do you know that how much ATF costs us every year? If you follow the money and you count how much, it's ridiculous. And the big thing is, no more private or secret police for Captain Crazy or whoever's in power. No more. Okay, folks? And like I said, have a happy Memorial Day. This is my tip of the day. Remember those who have fallen. Remember your vets who still survive. And remember the people who suffer horribly in the re recent idiotic wars and the one coming up and for you people on the east coast i'll be wa watching the skies nobody ever listens to uncle al oh and it's going to fly by but well, i tell a lot of people what you should be worried about if it fragments and everybody says oh it's a like in the movies a big piece of rock and just fly by well if that piece big piece of rock breaks off a size of a Buick and heads toward the earth at Mach 4. I don't think you want to be in Ottawa or Ontario or any place on the east coast. Okay? Remember, if it hits the earth's surface, keep telling this to people. We're not like this. We're like this. If it hits anything right here, you're going to feel it worldwide. Uh, now, my calculation says it's about 50 megatons. If it hits at a right point, it's 100 megatons, and we'll have a nuclear winter. That's for Hubble's cat, because, oh, if all the atomic bombs blew up in the world, nuclear weapons will have nuclear winter. No, you have radioactivity and fallout all over the world, but you won't have a nuclear winter. It just won't do it. Just clouds up the skies a little bit and it dissipates in four or five days. This one will create a nuclear winter. It also sets off volcanoes and earthquakes. And for Van City Prepper, I for the God of love of me, I can't remember those two submarine volcanoes off the coast of Vancouver. If one of them goes off, good thing, folks, these are huge volcanoes. Makes Yellowstone look like a joke. If one of these go off, expect a tidal wave, 200, 300 meters, if the big one blows up, and I can't remember its name, a submarine volcano, expect a tidal wave that covers all the way down to Oregon, all the way to Alaska and Siberia and Japan, 500 meters, okay? plus earthquakes and other things, and you see every volcano in that area going to blow up. Wait. Okay? If that puppy blows, most of eastern Canada is like, bye. Because everybody forget how that Salem Salem Sea was formed? Or, you know, Satan, or not Satan. How the hell do they call that little sea between... United States and Canada. They had a word for it. I don't know. I can't remember. But like I said, folks, if that one goes, 
500 meter tidal wave. Okay, and this is a big one. This is why I keep telling people, I'm not worried about land volcanoes. You're going to have an event. What I'm worried about is the submarine volcano, like the one that blew out in the middle of the Pacific. Now, if it happened on land, it'd be like uh, uh, at Pompeii. Vesuvius, that was scary. Okay? And I'll see you later, folks. Like I said, I gotta make more videos. Bye now.